baby don't care for shows My baby don't care for clothes My baby just cares for me My baby don't care for high tone places My baby don't care for furs and laces My baby don't care for rings or other expensive things She's sensible as can be My baby don't care who knows it My baby just cares for me Your baby don't care for clothes Or fancy silken hose Your baby just loves your nose <laughs> Your baby don't care for furs and laces Your baby don't care for high tone places Cute! My baby don't care for rings Or other expensive things She's sensible as can be My baby don't care who knows it Here now My baby's one of those pimps Who doesn't need priceless gems My baby just cares for me Oh, I've always loved it, darling. Yeah, I think I ought to do it at the club sometime. The boy's doing an arrangement on it, you know? Yeah. Who's that? I don't know. Hey, Kenny, hey, Sally, hold on. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Listen, surprise. we can't stay. We just, uh kind of stopped over. I wanted to show you something. Huh? Uh, you notice anything dangling on the earlobes? Funny, honey, you've got some beautiful new earlobes. Uh-huh. Oh, they're beautiful. Where did you get them? My darling hubby gave them to me. <laughs> That's so. The last of the big spenders, eh? <laughs> what, your birthday? What's your occasion? Well, it's no occasion. That's the beautiful part. What? My darling hubby just decided he wanted to give me an expensive gift, and he went right down to Maurice's and got me one. Maurice? <laughs> <laughs> it was it was nothing really, Bellini. Just just an exquisite little creation in gold and pearls. <laughs> oh, how about that man? <laughs> Oh, you're so cute, I can just bite you. I know. Oh, but we don't have time, dear. Let's go. Well, well. <laughs> What's the rush? Well, honey, we have to go visit my mother. Yeah, and every little delay helps. <laughs> oh, do you really have to go? Oh, we do, but listen, I just had to stop over and kind of show off my ear baubles. You don't mind, do you? Oh, I'm so glad you did. Oh, they're really exquisite, oh, Bunny. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Well, honey, come on, we better hurry. Mother's waiting, and it's a long ride to Brooklyn. Yeah, well, maybe we'll be lucky, and the bridge will be washed out. <laughs> 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 you see, Danny? That's the beauty of giving your wife a present. Two mother-in-law jokes in a row and not a scratch. <laughs> yes, dear, but don't press your luck. Come on. Let's go. Come on, don't forget tomorrow. We got a theater date. Yeah. 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 8.30 curtain. Right. That's some couple, huh? How about that Charlie? I never thought I'd live to see the day when he'd part with money for no reason at all. <laughs> well, honey, don't let it bother you. Don't let what bother me? Charlie's thoughtfulness and generosity. Well, why should that bother me? Well, no reason at all, darling. That's my point. Huh? <laughs> Maybe Bunny needs expensive gifts to uh, make her feel loved, but I don't need that sort of thing. Oh, I feel perfectly secure. Huh? Even though you haven't bought me a piece of jewelry in years. <laughs> <laughs> honey, w was there something special you wanted, dear? Oh, honey, all I want is your love, and I know I've got that. <laughs> no matter what other people think. <laughs> uh, uh, other people? Somebody say something? Oh, honey, it wouldn't matter if they did. You wouldn't, by chance, be trying to tell me something, would you? I'm just trying to tell you that I am not envious because Charlie showers his wife with gifts. I mean, jewels are just a, a status symbol, a, a way of saying I'm a successful man and I want to share my success with my wife to show that I love her. Oh, but honey, I don't need anything like that. I, I'm fine, really. 
I don't care what people say. I know you love me. Come on, honey, we're gonna be late. Charlie? Yes, dear? Would you hook me up? Oh, for heaven's sake. Why don't you women buy dresses you can get into by yourselves? You know, it's always been a mystery to me. How does a single girl get dressed? <laughs> Keep it a mystery, dear. <laughs> Wait, I'm not finished yet. I'm not quite finished yet. Uh, if you'll just hold still, uh, please. Just hold still. Honey, what's that? What is it? What well, you'll see there? in just a second. Darling, let me see. I can what, fix what, it. what is it? Oh, I've got to look. Let me, let me see. Oh, honey, they're beautiful. Oh, you doll. Oh, wait until Bunny sees these. <laughs> oh, weren't they terribly expensive? Yeah, but I wasn't planning on eating this week anyway. <laughs> oh, Danny, I just can't let you do it. You've got to take them back. You've got huh? to take them back. Oh, don't be silly. No, darling, I can't let you be that extravagant. All right, I'll take them back. Over my dead body. <laughs> oh, you phony, you. Oh, darling, uh, listen. Don't say anything to Bunny. Just see if she notices the necklace. Okay. Hi, Hiya, Ben. Kathy, a new necklace! <laughs> Just gorgeous. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? And such a surprise. Danny just up and bought it for me. You weren't expecting it? Not in a million years. Well, what's the occasion? It's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Look, I love my wife, and I want to buy her a gift on Wednesday. Is there any crime against that? Hey, look, it's 8.30. It's getting late. Let's go, shall we? Oh, gee, Wednesday. Kathy, you're so lucky. Oh, Bunny, we're both lucky to have such wonderful, generous husbands. Mm -hmm. My husband gave me this extravagant, expensive, beautiful necklace, and, and your husband gave you those cute little earrings. <laughs> oh, boy, funny. What a show, huh? I tell you, Bunny, huh? Was that a funny show? Was that the funniest show of the year? That scene where he held hands with a chimpanzee. Screams? Huh? Oh, I, was it not the funniest chimpanzee you have ever seen in your life? Charlie, how much do you think her necklace cost? <laughs> the chimpanzee wore a necklace? <laughs> no, I mean Kathy's necklace. How did that get into the conversation? Well, I was, I was just thinking my cute little earrings didn't cost as much as her gorgeous necklace. Why should they? Your cute little ears are smaller than her neck. Well, I just think it's kind of funny. What's funny? What? What? Well, Danny works for you. You're the employer, and he's the employee. So I'm a nur, and he's a knee. So what? Well, don't you think it's kind of funny that an employee can buy his wife a more expensive gift than an employer? Oh, the bulb lights up! Don't you think it's funny? I don't think it's funny because I think it's gonna cost me money. And that which costs me money ain't gonna make me double up with laughter. Pain, maybe, but not laughter. Charles Sylvester Halper, are you suggesting that I am suggesting that you buy me a more expensive gift than Danny bought Kathy? No, but if you are suggesting it, I am suggesting that you don't suggest it. Well, it just seems to me if I were an important nightclub owner whose wife was in the public eye, I'd... Well, I just want her to look her very best. You know something? You're absolutely right. I mean, like you say, we're in the public eye. I want you to look your very best. Oh, Charlie, you mean it? Uh-huh. And for a starter, in the morning, you'll join a gym and take off about four inches around the diameter. <laughs> Funny, sweetheart. Money doesn't grow on trees. I work hard. I mean, blood, sweat, and tears. I'm not going to throw it away on foolishness. And another hunk of jewelry is foolishness. I'm not going to stand here and argue with You're you. You're absolutely because right. Because I know, I have felt, I'm right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are right, honey. You do work hard for your money, and if you're going to spend it, it shouldn't be on me. Well, it should be on us. I mean, it should be something we can both share, like, well, maybe something for our home. Well, now you're talking sensible. I'll go for that. <laughs> well, now, uh, maybe, maybe we could redecorate the guest room. The guest room? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Hmm? And I think my mother would like it done in pink. Well, pink is a nice color, especially your mother. <laughs> How 
did your mother get into this conversation? Well, darling, she'll practically be living with us now that we're going to fix up the guest room and not spend the money on something foolish. <laughs> the uh, first thing in the morning, I'll spend it on some nice, sensible jewelry. <laughs> Alper, how nice to see you again. And what are you looking for this time? Trouble. <laughs> Say, uh, Maurice, did Danny Williams buy a necklace here? Why, yes. He wanted something like it? No, something better. Something better? Yeah, something that costs more. Well, of course. Yeah. Just step right this way. We have something lovely that just came in. There we are. Yeah, this is very nice. Very nice. Where's the price? Uh, right there on the tag. Well, this is something like I had in my... <laughs> this is the price? Yes. Looks more like my license plate. <laughs> well, of course, if you were joking about wanting something better than Mr. Williams bought, I do have uh, several uh, modest items here. Of course, they're not of the same class. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll take this one. Just wrap it up and find me a place to faint. <laughs> Have you gotten bracelets? Ah, oh, bracelets, of course, of course. And what is our price bracket? Our price bracket is anything higher than Mr. Halper's price bracket. <laughs> oh, good, good. Tell me, uh, are you uh, and he having some kind of little game? Yeah, it's a game. <laughs> it's a game, but I'm not having any fun. <laughs> oh, but I am. <laughs> Try the bracelet, but not like the one Danny bought. One that's a little more expensive. You understand? Oh, oh I do. Yes, I do. I do. Yes. Yeah, I want it. I want it to be bigger and heavier. Uh, bigger, yes, heavier. Heavy, I, heavy. Uh, so uh, when my wife puts it on, she should walk like this, huh? <laughs> I'll show that guy that I love my wife more than he loves his wife. Oh, I love them both. <laughs> this is one of our most elegant pieces. Okay, wrap it up. <laughs> Don't you want to look at the price? If I look at the price, I'll cry. Just wrap it up. <laughs> yes, sir. May I do like doing business with you and Mr. Halper. If we had more like you, we wouldn't have to worry about the recession. Excuse me. Uh, may I uh, see some of your medium price watches, please? Oh, yes, right over there. I'll be with you shortly. Uh-huh. I thought you'd be here. You just won't let up, will you? I won't let up. You started this whole thing, you little weasel. <laughs> yeah, you. What'd you want to go and buy your wife those earrings for no reason at all? What'd you want to go hang earrings on her for? I would have done better if I hung something on her mouth. <laughs> this is awful. You realize those two conniving females have us on a buying contest? Why don't we wise up and stop this nonsense? You're right. We'll quit this nonsense and go home. Right, let's go. After I buy one last hunk of jewelry for Bunny. <laughs> Why do you want to buy a jewelry for Bunny? So I can quit the winner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Charlie. I can't let you quit winter. Why? Because my wife will make my life miserable. That's why. Every time she sees a new piece of jewelry that your wife gets, she starts acting like a martyr. A martyr? Joan of Arc walking to the stake. <laughs> you should holler. Bunny keeps hitting me over the head with her mother. I would rather she used a club with nails on it. <laughs> They're not going to be satisfied until they break us. Yeah, maybe then they'll be satisfied. Yeah, <laughs> then they'll be satisfied. Yeah. Hey. Well, let's satisfy them. Oh. Let's go for broke. What? We've been buying them pins and earrings and bracelets and stuff like that. Let's step up in class. Let's get them some real diamonds. Diamonds? Yeah, heavy diamonds. And, and furs, too. Diamonds and furs? Right, diamonds and furs. Danny, don't make jokes. I mean, especially sick ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making jokes. I mean, I want it to be dripping in diamonds and furs. Danny, let us get out of here because from the jewel shining on you, you got sunstroke. <laughs> Didn't we say there's nothing too good for our wives? Right, that's what we'll give them, nothing. No! <laughs> Danny, I thought you wanted to quit. Of course I want to quit, but I want them to ask us to quit. Oh, by giving them diamonds and furs, they're going to quit? We're going to teach them a lesson. We'll teach them a lesson? We got to pay for the tuition? Will you please <laughs> pay? Let me explain it to you. You're not so bright, you know. Look, how do we get the diamonds and the furs, all the jewelry and things that we need when we put on a big production number at the club? Where do we get the stuff? Well, the furs we rent from Lipsy. Right. And the diamonds we rent from Maurice here, who are... Oh, Danny, <laughs> Danny. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Well, uh, I know what you mean. You mean we're gonna rent the stuff and not buy it. 
certainly we'll rent it. And we'll make them think that we're going in hock. See? Then they'll beg us to take them back. They'll beg us to take <laughs> everything back. Oh, Danny, what a brain. What a brain! It even puts your nose to shame. I mean... <laughs> Here you are, Mr. Wheat. Hello again, Mr. Halpern. Hi there. I have just sold Mr. Williams the most beautiful pin. Are you sure you wouldn't be interested in seeing one? Uh, Maurice, I've uh, changed my mind about the pin. I'm not going to take it. You're not? No, I'd like to see the finest diamond ring you've got in the place. A uh, diamond? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, right here, right here. There we are. Now, that is only $10,000. Gee, I'll take it. You will? Mm -hmm. I'll take one, too. No. <laughs> Both of you? Right. Uh, Sir, the price here says $79.95. Does that include the sales tax? Oh, stop heftering me. Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to buy a cheap watch, you to go out and get a find a push cart somewhere. <laughs> you know, that's the trouble with having a store so near the street. People keep coming in. <laughs> Now, let me see. I'll just uh, make out the charges No, here. no, 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 Maurice. Uh, don't charge it. We're, we're not going to buy them. What? We, we just want to rent them. Yeah, the same deal we have for a club. That's right. Oh, sir! Sir! <laughs> Kathy! Hey, Irish! Hello, baby! Well, we did it today, honey. Did what? Oh, today will go down in history, honey. This is the day that Danny Williams proved to the whole world that he loves his wife more than Charlie Hawker loves his wife. What are you talking about? Close your beautiful mouth and open those emerald eyes, kid. Take a gander at that. Neat, but not gaudy, eh? What is it? What is it? <laughs> it's a ten-carat diamond. Oh, no. Come on, seriously, what is it? Seriously, it's a ten-carat diamond. Let me see Charlie match that. Oh, honey, that can't be real. If it were, it would cost, oh, something like... Ten thousand uh... dollars and it's all yours, baby. All yours. You mean, you mean, you mean, you, you mean it's real? Yeah, it's absolutely real. There Danny. you are. Danny, Danny, where did you get that kind of money? Honey, you know those bonds we were saving for our old age? I cashed them in. <laughs> you, you, you cashed them in? Sure, they were just gathering dust in that vault anyway, honey. How about that? Isn't that beautiful? You, you, you cashed in our bonds? Well, sure, sweetie. Now, what do we care about our old age? The important thing is that you're happy now. Take a look at that. Isn't that something? <laughs> oh. Kind of blind you, doesn't it? <laughs> Bunny, it's a beautiful thing. It's ten carats. I mean, so what's the difference if I cashed in our life insurance policy? I mean, after all, nobody lives forever. The important thing is you should be happy now. Bunny, will you look at it? Will you at least just look at it? <laughs> Uh, it's a little surprise. Another present for Mom? That's right. Where is she? She's up in her room recovering from the last one. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? A coat. But she's already got a coat. Not one like this, she hasn't. What is it? Genuine white sable. Oh. White sable? Yep. Gee, I bet that costs almost as much as mink. Are you kidding? With this coat, you use mink for a lining. <laughs> now, go get your Mommy. Don't tell her what for. Just say I want to talk to her. Don't mention a coat. Daddy, how come you're getting Mommy so many presents lately? Oh, because I love her, dear. Don't you love me, too? Of course I love you. Then why don't you get me a coat like that? Don't be silly. Eight-year-old girls don't wear sable. Why not? Our little bodies get cold, too, you know. <laughs> you take your cold little body in the other room because I want to talk to Mommy. Yes, dear? Rusty said that you wanted to talk to yes, me. Yes, I do, darling. Sit down. Well, honey, I want to talk no, to dear, you, too. No, uh, dear, sit over here, sweetheart. Well, darling, I, I've, got, I've got to say this. You know, I've been awfully upset about, about your cashing in all those bonds mm -hmm. and, and, and buying that very expensive ring. <laughs> and I, I'm not sure it's, it's the right thing to do at all, darling. Really, I'm not... <laughs> what is that? What do you mean, what is that? That's a white sable coat. 
Wait till Bunny Hopper sees you in this. She'll be green with envy. Come oh, on, put it on. Again. No, 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 no. Come on. I couldn't. Put it oh, on. What Danny, do you mean you couldn't? Have you lost your mind, Donald? It's for you, sweetheart. Tables. Oh, you're sick, Danny. You're sick. You're sick. <laughs> sick for a husband to show how much he loves his wife? Oh, where has all this money come from? I got it from the bank. Oh. <laughs> I, I closed out our account at City National. <laughs> you... You closed out our account? Isn't that wonderful? Now you don't have to bother to go to the bank anymore. <laughs> Danny, that was Rusty's college fund. Darling, the important thing is that you're happy. When you walk down the street, dripping in diamonds, wrapped in furs, people are gonna point the finger and say, there goes a woman with a solid marriage. Solid marriage. Put it on. Cashing in our bonds, yes, closing dear. our bank accounts. Yes, darling. I don't want your old furs and I don't want your diamonds. I don't want anything. <laughs> The rings? Yes. But I don't understand. Well, it's very simple. We're returning them. But why? We're nuts, that's why. <laughs> we, we just can't allow our husbands to spend so much money. Oh, but it's not that much. Well, maybe not to you, but we're in that bracket where every little 10,000 counts. Oh, <laughs> but our rentals aren't that steep. Well, I don't care how much your rentals are. Rentals. Did you say rentals? Yes, your husband's rented these rings for the week. <laughs> they didn't buy them. No. Of course, I hope the, you'd like they them well enough. They must have done the same thing with the furs. Well, of course, from Lipsy. They, they have that deal where they rent the furs for the showgirls. Bunny, you and I have just been taken on a long and not so merry ride. Well, what are we going to do about it? We've been passengers long enough. We're going to move in the driver's seat. Come on. <laughs> Poor women ever realize that they cannot match wits with the intelligence of the superior sex. Oh, with me either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know the diamonds and the furs that do the trick. You should have seen Kathy. She wouldn't put that coat on at the point of a gun. <laughs> yeah, and Bu Bunny won't even take the coat out of the box. She, she, what? I never saw. She... <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, darling, you know how badly we felt last week about your spending so much money on us. Yeah. Well, we have good news for you. We overcame that feeling. <laughs> you, over, you overcame, you overcame, you, oh, you mean, you, uh, I mean, you're not gonna beg us to take the stuff back? Oh, no, we've decided to keep everything. Well, honey, Rusty's college education. Oh, darling, let him go work for it the way you did. <laughs> Pardon my flying sable. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he, uh, you were supposed to, uh, 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 I mean, he's a, I'm a girl, the kind of nut. <laughs> He's the one who fainted. What are you pouring on me for? You got my suit all wet. Go rent yourself a dry one, you drip. <laughs> 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 